After months of widespread metal theft that cost companies millions of dollars, it's official. Cabinet approves a six-month ban on scrap iron exports. That's right, Ria. We understand the ban went into effect on Friday but was only announced today at a news conference. Now, this prohibition will allow government to regulate the industry, but the Attorney General is hoping to complete that process within three months. Rashad Khan has more. It's one of the latest scourges plaguing the country, crippling vital infrastructure and costing millions in damage. Now, thieves and dealers will be left holding on to the stolen items as government implements a six-month ban on scrap iron and copper export. It is a regrettable step that has been taken, but it is a step that has been taken because we recognize that it is affecting the livelihoods of ordinary people. Implemented on Friday, the prohibition order will require that exporters obtain a license to do so. According to Amor, applications for this permit will be vetted and signed off by a cabinet subcommittee. This includes himself along with Trade Minister Paula Gupiskun, Energy Minister Stuart Young and National Security Minister Fitzgerald Hines. But while the ban will be in effect until February 23rd, Amor hopes to create the regulations before the end of this year. It is the hope that with the hard work of the Law Reform Commission and the Chief Parliamentary Council of the Office of the Attorney General, I can return to Cabinet within three months to put in place a legislative and regulatory system which will enable the ban to be shorter than three months. The Attorney General says anyone who breaches this ban is liable to a fine of just $15,000. That's why he says the old Metal and Marine Stores Act will also need updating as part of the process to regulate the industry. He says stakeholders will be consulted for suggestions on how they believe they should be regulated. Rashad Khan, CNC3 News.